Hey folks, I'm out here in my shop with my old welder, my old Montgomery Ward, my old buzz box, and I'm putting together something kind of neat. Now, uh, you've probably seen some of these before, but this is for a friend of mine down in Texas, down in the Midland Odessa area, and she had me pick her up a pickup up here because in Idaho you can get a truck a lot cheaper and a lot nicer than you can down there. And I am building her. This is a 16,000 pound fifth wheel. And I'm also adding to it a four inch wide by two inch tall piece of C channel, real heavy gauge, uh, three eighths thick with a two and five sixteenths sixteenth ball in the center. So it's being just all welded up because this is a set of used frame or used rails I got off of another fifth wheel. And this fifth wheel I picked up today for $125 and because it was missing a bunch of hardware, stuff like this, stuff like the rails didn't have it. And she needs one because she is a traveler and this one here had a few little issues. So for the price, you can't beat it. And, but it's a standard, you know, um, just a regular 16,000 pound fifth wheel. So what I built, is I have built a gooseneck for the center of it. So now you do have to take the bolts out right here and remove the center pin or the center bar to, to use that. But you can see right down there, it's got a nice heavy ball for using her gooseneck or horse trailers or other trailers she might haul with it. And just by removing the bolts here, and you can actually have left that on. I just took it off so you can see it better. Um, you can make a multi-purpose fifth wheel gooseneck hauler. Really easy. So pretty good setup. Um, we can also use pins on it if we wish. Want to get the big enough pins for it. And there we go. Nice little fifth wheel. And for you down there in Texas, I'm sure you watch the video. You get to see this is what's going in your nice truck. All right, now we got the side rails and we're gonna drill holes where the four holes are now in the bed because the bed of the truck has four holes. The truck is an 83 F250 and it's in excellent condition, believe it or not. No rust, no nothing, but it does have some holes where a gooseneck plate was in once before and we're putting in this nice adapted fifth wheel gooseneck. See, right there, gooseneck. So like I said just a minute ago, Take the bolts out, lift that bar out, and you can see from the profile that it's not very long. It's not in a bad spot, perfectly centered, good, nice, heavy channel, supported underneath with a couple of cross members uh, inside that channel so there's no fla uh, flex in it, and pretty good setup. We're all welded up. Now we just got to grind her down and find any bad spots and fill them, and that right there is your gooseneck and fifth wheel in one not too shabby huh all right guys here we are with the truck 83 model and uh pretty nice pickup truck 460 motor in it and we have in it in the bed the convertible fifth wheel and gooseneck i got a little grinding to do gotta put our bolts in but other than that it's complete and Ah, oh, practically looks like it's centered pretty good. Tomorrow morning, we're going to try it out. But, there it is. Multi-purpose. Build you one. It's not too hard.